Hey guys, Carl Cunard here, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are doing a highlighting and sculpting contouring masterclass. And I'm here with the contouring king, Danny... How did I say that last name? Defratus. Defratus. <laughs> I said to you guys on one of my previous videos that I've bought some tools, some makeup to do contouring, but I actually don't know how to do it. So why not do this collaboration with the contouring king? <laughs> who can teach me how to do it, and then we've got another exciting video coming after, which is going to be on Danny's channel, which is going to be my attempt at doing the same contouring he's doing on me. So if you want to watch that video after this one, then it's going to be linked down in the description box below, plus Danny's Instagram and his channel as well. So make sure after this video, you go and check that one out because I think it's going to be a funny one. All right, guys, so we're going to go in with the Laura Mercier primer today. The reason why we're going to be using this one, it is white, it is clear. It's just because it's really, really hydrating. And we have nothing on Carl's skin, right? Full bare face. I know, that upsets some of my guys is quite scary. <laughs> Feel me, I know. So I'm literally going to go ahead and just apply a nice amount of primer kind of on the three parts of the face, three dots on the face. Ah! Oh, the birds are here! Right, guys, we just had this conversation about there's these, like, beautifully green... They're they're beautiful. Pe pelicans. They're, they're parakeets. Oh, parakeets. <laughs> pelicans? I don't even know what pelican is. But they're, like, beautiful. And he was telling me about them and saying them. they come and watch oh, Danny do his YouTube videos. Hey, guys! Hi! Is he doing... Well, I was going to say... I think one's job, called but... Stacey and one's called Nigel. <laughs> now usually because I have the same thing right whenever you're dealing with facial hair or beard you want to avoid putting too much makeup or too much product on there because it just looks like you have textured skin and yeah. a lot of guys always ask me that they're like I normally just pop a beard? powder like a bronzer in there I don't okay. necessarily put the creams definitely I think powders are great and sometimes you can even use like an eyebrow pencil to just like shape it up Fill a little it, bit yeah. more but definitely stay away from like concealers and and like foundations on that area. All right guys, so next up we're gonna go in straight with the foundation and we've kind of got two foundations that we can play with here. So we have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and also the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. So we're gonna go in full coverage. I know Carl normally goes really more natural male grooming, but today we're gonna go for it guys. We're gonna yeah. go full on. So we're gonna use a damp beauty blender and just pick up the product onto the beauty blender and we're going to buff this into the skin, okay? Now this is a full coverage foundation. So we are definitely going to be seeing the product on the skin and we want this flawless finish on Carl's face today. See, I never apply, I would wear a foundation like that. It makes my skin just look flawless. And this is only step one, so it's going to get better. So how many layers would you do this? Mm, so I like like thin layers instead of like one thick layer. I like loads of thin layers, so it looks very like dimensional. Yeah. One thing I can't wait for Danny to show me is my eyes. I get quite dark circles in here, and I have products that I use, but I'm intrigued to see how you remove those. Do you know what a lot of people say to me? If you've got dark circles, just sleep. Don't wear makeup. I'm like, well, I don't want to sleep. I want to watch Netflix and I want to use makeup. So back <laughs> off, bro. <laughs> All right, guys. So in order to get rid of those dark circles, we're going to go in with some concealer. And for this, we are going with the Fenty Beauty, the brand new, the one everyone's been talking about. By the way, this is not a hashtag sponsored video. This is not sponsored, but thank you, Fenty, for producing some beautiful products. And if you want to sponsor us, <laughs> let us know. So yeah, this this concealer is currently my favorite. It's so, so good. I love it because it's got a really amazing finish and it's very, very good coverage. So this is the applicator. It's nice and small. And for guys out there who maybe just want to keep it natural, you can just dab some on, use your finger. The wedding ring finger is the softest touching finger in your hand just because of your ligaments. So we tend to use that for make makeup application because it's really light. So it's this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's in there. Wedding. Oh, so you, uh... <laughs> Okay, new every day. concealer time. Right, so I'm gonna try and stand here so we'll be able to get that camera going. So for this, guys, I'm gonna go literally straight in. Create some dots. Pretty. I just go, look at this, look how pretty that looks. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I might just do this, it's like, and this is my Coachella look. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, I'm gonna go for it today, okay? I know that yeah. I probably wouldn't do this, but I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> right, okay. Let's see where you put it. Okay. So next up, we're gonna go in with our contour, and now this is our darker shade. There's so many different products out there, you can just use concealer, but I'm gonna go ahead with the matchstick, which is also by Fenty, and I just love the application of how easy this is. So for this, in order to find where you want to apply it, you really want to tilt your head in the mirror, in the light, and you want to feel against your cheekbone. So Carl's got quite amazing cheekbones, I'm not gonna lie, guys. So he doesn't need that much of a thing. Well. <laughs> but this is a really good opportunity to either just enhance features that you already have, or maybe try and bring the eye to a different point of the face, just to make it look really, really interesting. So if you just head straight on and slightly there. So we're gonna go round about here. Let me see where this is going on. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. It's a crayon. The nose is quite snatched already, so I don't feel like I need to go. What does snatch this. mean? Snatch is like. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Does that mean like witch nose? No, like amazing, we all want a snatch nose. All right guys, so here in the forehead area, we can definitely just bring it down a little bit. So I'm just going in with that contour stick. And please don't worry, like you can do dots, you can do lines, you've seen the Instagram like videos, you back, can do whatever yeah. you want, just as long as you get the product on the face. Then we're gonna go in back with our beauty blender and we're gonna buff this out. All right, so we're just gonna go in guys, and so normally I use this kind of like peach bit and then buff that. And then we're going to turn our beauty blender around so we have this area where we had the foundation. So there's still a little bit of foundation there. And we're going to go in to the nose first because I want that to be the softest contour because I personally feel like that's probably structurally Carl's like sharpest point. So we don't need to go too crazy there. Guys, try not to drag that contour down. If you start dragging it down, it's gonna make the face look longer and a little bit odd. <laughs> so guys, I'm really, really happy with how this face is looking. Like I said, this is kind of, I want something that's naturally enhanced. So we can already see how like Carl's face, it's got dimension, it's got the different areas. So we're gonna go in next with a powder and we're gonna use a nice big fluffy brush from Morphe. You can bake if you want. Bake? Yeah, do you wanna bake? What, you mean a cake? No! <laughs> Ow! I was like, you can bake. I'm like, so a makeup tutorial, not cooking. Okay, you've never baked before? A cake? Okay, let's bake. Right, so baking... I don't think any of my guys on my channel will know what bake is and if you do, you're far more advanced than what I am. <laughs> so baking is a technique that's been around for such a long time and what it is is pressing a loose powder onto the skin and then basically it kind of heats up the concealer underneath and then it gives you a smoother finish. So this is really amazing for underneath the eyes and it's not necessary, like you don't have to do it, you can just powder your face but it's fun and it does give you a really nice longevity. And you can tell your friends that you've done baking. Yes. Okay, so you can leave this on for like five minutes or so. Now, because Carl's told me that his skin is more on the dry side, I'm not gonna leave it on for that long at all, so I'm gonna brush it off now. Or I'll be a burnt cake. Okay, so we're literally dusting off that powder. I just looked in the mirror, guys, and I'm really impressed with these eyes. As I said, I get quite dark circles under my eyes, which I think the majority of the world do as well. Lack of sleep, lack of hydration, <laughs> alcohol, food, everything can cause bags and dark circles, but how you've done this, they're really... Obviously it's a little bit more than what I normally would do, but I actually like the look. I still think it looks natural. And I think definitely with this, guys, you can use, you can just use the concealer. You don't even have to go in with a foundation. You can make it a lot more natural. You can make it a lot more intense. So it's just about what you're doing. Like, obviously, if you're going out during the day, maybe keep it natural. And if you're going out at night or doing a photo shoot, you might want to enhance it a little bit. Now, I've just noticed that the ring light, the amazing light that we have for makeup in front of us, I'm like, 
Was that on the, we off the whole time? We forgot to put it on. So if I look brighter now and the makeup looks better, it's because we've actually put the light on. I am so sorry, guys. This is my fault. <laughs> now we're blinded, right? I know, now I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so once we've done that part, we're going to go in with a bronzer. I'm going to be using the Hoola from Benefit Cosmetics today. I actually love this for guys or girls because it's completely matte. It's really, really natural and it's just, it's so versatile. I'm really intrigued to use this because I've only ever used matte, matte bronzer. Oh! Just because I've had it for years. So I'm intrigued to kind of use a new one because I do want to experiment a little bit because People are getting fed up of seeing the same products in my makeup tutorial. Hey guys, here's a new tutorial. And everyone's like, we've seen those products a hundred times. So where we put the contour, we're gonna go over those areas with the bronzer, okay? So it's gonna be forehead, size of nose, and also the cheekbones. And personally, I feel like Carl's now looking quite like tan, so we don't need to go too crazy with this. Yeah, I actually normally bronze the whole face. Do you? Yeah, I put bronzer everywhere. Yeah, but then you just want a flat face. Yeah, but that flat face is bronzed. <laughs> and also guys, whenever you're applying bronzer, make sure you go right into the hairline, like if you're gonna apply it, because the worst thing is like pale hairline and then bronze face, it's just a complete giveaway. Are you wearing makeup? No, obviously not. So why is your head white and your face is not? Uh, I was wearing a hat on holiday. <laughs> Now this product is called a setting spray, but mm -hmm. the other day, I couldn't work out what it was called when you spray it on, what it makes you look like, and I've got it now. It makes you look dewy, which means right. like, well, the other day I've, I've described it as like a melting candle, <laughs> <laughs> but it actually means it just brings that natural look out on your face, so you don't look like powdery mm -hmm. and like, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, he's learning, he's learning guys, yes. So setting sprays do two things, I guess. They will help your makeup stay on, last longer, and they will also get rid of any powdery, like powder that sits on the skin and just give you more of a like fresh face look. So this is my favorite one, it's by Urban Decay, it's called All Nighter, it's quite long wearing. But for this, close your eyes, keep your eyes closed, and then we're just literally gonna spray it on. We have a fan! Yeah! Oh, yeah that's, this is when they do the videos, when they go... <laughs> like, it's not something I normally do, but... Okay! So that is pretty much it, guys. So we've spoken about skin, primer, foundation, God, concealer. My eyes pop as well. My eyes are looking a bit red. I got three hours sleep last night, so. I just wanted to show you how you can kind of contour a guy's face. It still look like natural, but just really, really sculpted. Like I said, you can take it to the extreme. You can make it more natural, however you wish. I really like this. So, this video I think is already long enough. However, Sorry. I think it's a very educational video. <laughs> I think we've had a bit of fun as well. The birds have not come back to see it, but I'm sure they would be very pleased and would give us a 10 out of 10. I'll be linking all of the products that Danny has used on my face down in the description box below. As I said as well, I'll be linking his Instagram and also his YouTube channel where you can find the next video, which I think is gonna be a funny one, of me attempting to do the same look on Danny's face now, so make sure you do go and check that out. You really if you are a new person watching, don't forget to go and subscribe, the button is right there. And guys, I'll be seeing you, hopefully, in a moment over on Danny's channel and on my channel as well very, very soon. Take care guys, I'll see you then.